Uh, okay, look at uh, number uh, 59. Uh, number 59, we can start from the right hand side or left hand side. It all depends on you, which side do you think is easier. Uh, let's see the relationship. On the left, uh, we have cosine. The right also has a cosine. And here has a tangent and a second a theta. So I'm trying to keep the cosine here because everybody top has a cosine. Can you convert a tangent to be the uh, second? What What is the identity T I need to use to convert the tangent to the second? The identity we have learned is one plus tangent uh, theta squared equals second theta squared. Oh, that means I can convert the tangent to be the second, subtract one both sides. Oh, second theta squared minus one. All right, let's start from the left hand side. Okay, the left hand side, we keep the top. We have cosine theta plus one, but the bottom, I want to convert the tangent to be the second. So I can use second theta squared minus one. But uh, on the uh, right hand side, we have the cosine, one cosine on the top, and cosine theta one minus one at the bottom. So can you try to make the bottom cosine theta squared, uh, cosine theta minus one? Um, let's try. The bottom is a conjugate formula, is a squared minus b squared. A is second theta, b is one. So the bottom is second theta plus one and the second theta minus one. Oh, I got a second theta mi minus one like my right hand side. But how to um, how to get rid of the other things? So how to get rid of the second theta plus one? So we only have the second theta minus one here. Mm. So let's try to convert the second theta to be the sine or cosine. So keep the top cosine theta plus one. And the bottom, uh, second theta is one over cosine theta plus one and second theta minus one. Here, the cosine is at the bottom. So here, the cosine is at the bottom. So let's try to multiply the cosine theta top and bottom. Uh, because I don't like to have my, uh, the bottom or the top has more fractions. So the bottom, I can distribute to the cosine into the first parentheses. So I'm having one plus cosine theta. On the top is um, second theta. Minus one. On the top is cosine theta plus one times cosine theta. So look at the top and bottom. Cosine plus cosine theta plus one, one plus cosine theta. They are canceled. Uh, on the top we have cosine theta. Bottom we have second theta minus one. This is my right hand side. Oh, I proved that left hand side equals right hand side. Okay. Uh, let's see next one. Uh, which side do you decide to start? I'm starting from left hand side. So here is cotangent. Here is tangent alpha. Mm, if I want to convert the cotangent to tangent, what is that? Mm, that is reciprocals because cotangent equals one over tangent theta as tangent alpha. So I convert all the cotangent into the uh, tangent and the bottom is one over tangent alpha. It doesn't matter, we have many way to solve the uh, verification of the identities. You can also start from the left uh, side and the right side at the same time. Or you say, I, I prefer to convert them to be all the uh, cosine and sine function. And, uh, Sine, uh, cosine over sine minus one. And the, the uh, right hand side is one plus sine over cosine, one minus sine over 
cosine, and then continue to simplify the big fraction. You got to the one expression, and you prove the right hand side equals the left hand side. All right, let's see. Uh, next step, we have mentioned that in previous example, if the top and bottom they uh, if the top and bottom they have the fraction. So how about let the top multiply by the bottom tangent alpha, and top and bottom multiply by tangent alpha. Now we distribute the tangent alpha in the parentheses. I have uh, one plus tangent alpha. alpha. Bottom is one minus tangent alpha. Oh, this one is really quick. So no more other steps. This is the right hand side. We proved it as. Okay, let's see number uh, 63. Oh, oh, sorry, 67. Uh, obviously, on the left hand side, it's very complex. I'm starting from my left hand side. So convert the first degree to be the second degree using the conjugate formula. So on the top, second uh, theta to the fourth minus tangent theta to the fourth. This is second theta squared plus tangent theta squared times second theta squared minus tangent theta squared. And what is the bottom? The second theta squared plus tangent theta squared. Uh, I don't need to do anything because you see this top, this bottom, they're canceled. And I'm having second theta squared minus tangent theta squared. Uh, it's very easy questions. How about number 71? So, which side is very complex? Uh, for me, it must be left hand side. Okay, how to simplify this? Okay, let's let's see. We have sine uh, alpha squared times second alpha squared, and sine alpha squared times cosecant alpha squared. When I see this, I realize that sine cos uh, cosecant they are reciprocals. So this is one, right? Because reciprocals, the multiplication between the reciprocals, it is one, but the first, it is not one. I can keep it. So I'm having a sine alpha squared times second. Uh, this is the multiplication, it's no subtraction. Second alpha squared plus, this is one because that's the sine alpha squared times one over sine of a squared, it is one plus one. And I want to continue to simplify this. Uh, on my uh, right hand side, we only have a second, a second alpha or a second alpha squared. There's no sine alpha. How to get rid of this? Maybe I can uh, try to convert both sides to be the uh, sine and cosine. Maybe I list this later. So let's try to come, because I have no way to convert to the left hand side to the right hand side. So next step, I can try to use, uh, convert all the trig expression into the sine cosine. So sine alpha squared times one over cosine alpha squared plus one. And what is the sine over cosine? Is that tangent? Yes, it is. So sine alpha squared over cosine alpha squared plus one. It is tangent alpha squared plus one. Oh, this is a Pythagorean identities. This is the second alpha squared. So I don't need to say at least the right hand side and prove that. So this is a right hand side. So we proved this identities. Uh, so questions are not very easy. The thing, main thing is do not give up. So if you cannot prove left hand side equals right hand side, so you prove both sides equal something and then they are equal. All right, we're done for today. If you have any question, please let me know. Have a good day.